What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about The Flash season seven. Now this is just a theory. I just wanna completely put that out there before we get into this video, because I don't want anybody to be disappointed if this doesn't happen, okay? Just theory time. We're gonna theory craft. It's the weekend, I wanted to make a video. I was looking through the news, I'm like, what I wanna talk about, this is something that I mentioned on Ben DC TV show stream, I've talked about it briefly on the after party, but I wanted to put it in a video and solidify it in the world so that like, if it does happen, we can look back on the video and be like, I was right. But if I'm not, uh, I've been wrong before. But anyway, so we're gonna have theory time. So careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with The Flash season seven or if you haven't watched season six because I'm gonna do a little recap on what happened before so we can see where we are now. There we go. All right, so this is about the Speed Force. Now we know during season six that there was the death of the Speed Force. After Crisis on Infinite Earths, we found out when Wally West came back and told Barry, look, the Speed Force is dying. We see that it's dying and then it's going away completely and the Speedsters are losing their speed. They only have residual Speed Force left in their bodies and eventually that's gonna run out because there is no more Speed Force. Now keep in mind, this should also mean that any Speedster on any other multiversal Earth would have also lost their connection to the Speed Force because the Speed Force existed outside of just Earth-1. So keep that in mind. Um, also, our characters are not aware that the multiverse still exists. We know that, it, like the viewers, we know that the multiverse is out there, but they don't know. So in their mind, they're not thinking about creating a Speed Force for all the other Speedsters. They're just assuming that their Earth is the only Earth because of the events of Crisis. Why would they not assume that? It seems like that would be the plausible thing. But we know for a fact that that means other speedsters that use the speed force, are they have no speed left right now. So we know that by, based on what happened in season six, which brings up another question. If a speedster uses the speed force to run fast, then is their meta power actually speed or is their meta power being a conduit for the speed force? That's a that's a topic for another video altogether. I just don't know. Anyway, so no speed force, no speedsters. They're basically metahumans with no powers. That's really what this comes down to. All right, so coming into season seven, they had to find a way to repair the speed force and give Barry back his speed, which should give all speedsters back their speeds if they actually create a 100% artificial version of the speed force. Now, will it be sentient? Will it have people in it talking to speedsters and stuff? Who knows? We don't know. We're not that far along yet. And we're not even going to theorize about that in this video. But they end up using Nash Wells, the only remaining Wells, who has multiversal particles of other Wells inside of his body. How did that happen? We're not sure. But either way, those can power this artificial speed force sphere and give Barry his speed back. So we go into that and it ends up that that's not a good thing. Yes, Barry gets his speed back, but he ends up becoming a speedster Vulcan and is like devoid of emotion because in order to prevent him from turning into like the reverse flash, because emotion is what really drove the negative speed force, they decide that they're going to fine tune these this artificial speed force device to not allow Barry to use his emotions when powering or being powered by this device well it backfires and turns him into this vulcan thing we saw it last week there was no way that was going to last totally logical no emotion whatsoever so barry destroys the artificial speed force generator and we're back where we were before no speed force a flash without any speed all right so with that all out of the way let's talk about my theories on how we're going to create a new speed force and how it could sustain everyone and still exist within the entire multiverse. Cause right now that spear thing that doesn't, that shouldn't power other speedsters. I'm assuming it's just the ones who come in contact with it, which means Wally wouldn't have got his speed back either. Okay. So at the end of last week's episode, we saw that Harrison Wells, or at least a version of Harrison Wells, we saw there was an interview where they said this was the OG Harrison Wells, but then they also said he's kind of made up from other Harrison Wells. There's a quote here. Let me see if I can find this. Um, it says here, and this is from uh, Grant's interview with EW. I'm not going to put it up on the screen. I'm just going to read it from my screen. It says, it's not like necessarily the real Harrison Wells, I guess. It has more to do with the particles that made up all of the Wellses now embodying this Harrison Wells. So we're gonna, going to yet again see Tom do something slightly different than we've ever seen. And it's technically the real Harrison Wells, but with a twist. So yes, it is the physical form of the OG Harrison Wells. And he's probably the in the driving seat. But 
I'm assuming because it's made up of the energy of the other Harrison Wells that they're going to sort of play into this or whatever. He's going to be like a super smart Harrison Wells. This is going to be a Harrison Wells that I'm thinking is going to have the intelligence of all the other ones that were out there. So my theory, it's a two-part theory here because there's one and two, but they're not mutually exclusive, is that this OG Harrison Wells will go back to Star Labs, get caught up on everything that's happening, realize that he needs to help the Flash, and somehow, some way, use the knowledge that he has to find another way to power the Flash. Or, quite possibly, he has the energy within himself to power the Flash, which that would be a big twist. Not really sure how that would work. But I'm assuming it's going to be his smarts. He's going to use his intelligence and come up with a way for this to work and give the Flash back his speed. Now, the other side of this theory is we know the mirror dimension is going to get wrapped up in, at the end of next week's episode. So if that happens, that leaves this big empty dimension that is devoid of life. There's no one living in that world as far as we know, which means it's a space. It is a conduit type situation where there's nothing there, right? So what could you put in there to fill up the space that would actually work out in everybody's best interests? The speed force. You could put the speed force into the mirror dimension and turn that into the battery for all the speedsters because that's not it exists outside of our world it's another world altogether it's another dimension altogether so that would mean as far as i can tell that it should be able to connect to other places within the multiverse and this could also lead to them finding out about the multiverse through this mirror dimension which again another video so basically my theory here is that wells will probably help them the og wells will probably help them figure out how to bring the speed force back using the intelligence of all the other Wellses that have reformed into his body and not mutually exclusive, they may use the mirror universe as a storage place for the speed force. Now it could end up being two things that come together. Maybe OG Wells is the one that comes up with the idea for the mirror universe being the speed force. Maybe that's an independent thing that Cisco and Barry think of separately with the speed force thing. Cause you have to remember Iris is also able to control and manipulate the mirror universe, which means she could have something to do. This could all be connected into one thing. Again, theory, don't get mad if this doesn't happen, but what if Iris is able to use her powers of manipulating the mirror universe to take the particles out of Wells, the OG Wells, and put it into the mirror universe so that that becomes the speed force and then OG Wells sticks behind and we have our new Wells for the rest of the season. Because we know that there's going to be a Wells, and if he's not going to be the, the Speed Force, then it has to be this OG Wells. And this just blows my mind because now OG Wells comes back. That's his Star Labs. That is, that's, that is his building. Is he going to kick everybody out? He can't, right? He can't, he can't kick everybody out. I mean, maybe they're basically squatting in his building. But the rest of the world thinks he's evil. So I don't know. Anyway, that's my theory. OG Wells comes back, uses the intelligence of all the other Wells. They take the Speed Force using Iris's power and inject it into the Mirror Universe to make that the new Speed Force dimension that powers all the speedsters in the multiverse. Is this a crazy theory? Is this a crazy idea? I don't know. But now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it is. But I still wanted to put it out there for the rest of the world. So look, if you guys have any thoughts or opinions on this theory and you want to add your own, that's what the comment section is for. So feel free to to go down there and do that. I also have a theory about the Kent brothers over on Superman and Lois. So if you want to see that, make sure you click up in the corner now and go check out my theory on those guys because that one's another one that could or could not happen. It really depends. I'm not saying that I have any insider information. I'm not that guy, but I think that this theory does work. And it makes sense within the context of the show because why not? So anyway, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Make sure you hit the like button, the thumbs up button, not the thumbs, the thumbs up button because it's free and it helps the channel grow. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Also, links in the info box for other stuff. Take care. See you later.